Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our third video in Python Flask CRUD Web Application Development. In the last video we have made our header and footers uh, in uh, Python Flask and this was from the previous video and this is the code uh, index.html and also uh, in the previous video we have uh, uh, included our bootstrap also, we have added an icon to our web application. You can see that this is an icon. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a body to your web application because, uh, and here I'm going to add a table uh, because uh, I'm going to retrieve uh, my student data from MySQL database and I want to add uh, those uh, data in the table. Okay. Uh, for this, open your index.html. Uh, this is my index.html, and uh, between header and footer, between header and footer, and here uh, you can simply make an another container. Let me make div class container, and in the container, I'm going to make a row div class row okay now make another div div class call md12 okay now between uh, these the first thing we need uh, h2 h2 tag uh, let me add in here h2 and write it student list student list like this and also I'm going to make a button in here mm, let me just okay now button the type is button and also the class add a class a bootstrap class this is btn btn success and also at student student data like this okay and uh, also you need to in this section uh, let me bring it in here make it bigger uh, we are going to uh, bring our this button in the right section of our page so you can simply write pull right in here pull right like this and also you should add uh, because we we will use a uh, jQuery uh, so we are going to add a data toggle and data toggle data dash toggle is model and give a data target give a data target our data target is my model my model okay uh, now this is simple uh, let me bring this in here that you can watch okay now I'm going to run this yeah now you can see I have a uh, add a student and also I have a student list like this. And now after this uh, we need a table. I'm going to add a table in here. Table class. Give a bootstrap uh, class table stripped 
and make a tr and the tr we make table header th the first one is serial let me copy this and paste it in here we need a name also we need email we need a phone also we need an action now save it and check your okay now I have a table with the header serial name email and phone okay after this we want to add another tier okay now I'm going to add some static values because I'm going to check this make a TD uh, for example 0 1 uh, after uh, now I'm going to add a static and uh, some we do later after I will add uh, from my from my data from my scale database the name is for example I'm going to write a name my name and also the email is for example given email also I need email and I need a phone number give a random phone number like this and we need action for in the action we are going to add uh, edit and delete update and delete uh, for this make a TD and make it bigger now in this in the action okay we are going to add a href right now we don't write anything in here give a class I want to give this uh, btn btn warning warning uh, and also give it a size I give this xs xs size also you need a data toggle and data target for this data toggle I'm going to add for this uh, model and for the data target I'm going to add my model like this uh, not mod my model but because I give the model edit ok now and add edit let me refresh this and check this that we have edit button yeah uh, now we have edit button also we are going to add a delete button in here uh, for this again I'm going to href href and for the class give btn 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 danger btn access uh, and it doesn't need any data toggle or data target you should uh, just give an on click for this on click and return confirm and between this I'm using a JavaScript in here are you sure to delete are you sure to delete like this and write delete in here now let me check this yeah uh, now we have uh, edit and delete also we have you can see now if I click in here delete are you sure to delete and add a student right now these are not functional okay thank you guys uh, this was our design part 2 and we will work on design part 3 in next video if you have any question please let me know and also uh, I will try that add these uh, the complete source code of this to the github if you have any question, please let me know. And for further videos, don't forget subscription of my channel.